So we set up a chopped trout camp style and we put random ingredients in these guys' these short lunch boxes. Steel. They have to use the ingredients. What do we got, Steve? <laughs> what is in Chili paste. Box? Doritos. Doritos. And oh, peppers. Yeah. Peppers. And onions. So these are the three extra ingredients they have to use in the mill. Look at that. Oh, peppers, <laughs> Doritos. Philip, what are you thinking, man? <laughs> you got something planned? <laughs> you got quite the ingredients. What are you thinking, man? You got we got Philip. <laughs> we got Steve. <laughs> we've got Chris. <laughs> we got JJ. The winner gets what? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Five hundred bucks for the winner. That's hot, boy. It's good, but it's hot. Philip's like, what is this? I can see Steve's got a plan. Steve. You got a plan, Steve? It would have been so much better if we had foil wrap. <laughs> so they have their normal ingredients they use for shore lunch, which is beans, flour, peaches, and then whatever fish that each boat caught. But we added three extra ingredients they have to use in the dish. So it comes down to taste, but also comes down to a presentation on a plate. So you'll have to plate up one dish, and we'll judge it on presentation and taste. All right, Chris, you have a plan for this? Yeah. This is going to be my northern Saskatchewan lake, lake trout pie. So Steve didn't want to cook around the other guides because he wants to do his own thing over here, not, not give secrets out, right? Oh, yeah. You got a plan for it? Can I? I going to go with the flow. Nice. Steve's cooking in this teepee. Which is super rad. We're at this cabin. Um, one of the guys, Philip, his brother-in-law owns this cabin on this lake, so it was raining. So, great place to have shore lunch. You guys are getting ready to cook their meal. <laughs> Love is, that, on the is that lake trout? Yeah, lake trout. Steve's uh, using the first key ingredient. <laughs> All right, what are you mixing up there? Dude. Oh, you got the Doritos in the chili paste. JJ. Ooh, Philip has the same idea, me. Huh? So Steve's got his battered fish that he, he marinated in chili paste. Looks like he might use the Doritos as an extra crispy crust. Oh, what did you do, JJ? Chris is going to add the uh, peppers to his potatoes. Give it some color, I like it. Alright, so JJ and Philip are on the, on the fire now. Looks like we got some fries with some pepper on it and the, and the uh, peppers. JJ's fish. Dude, that looks good. Yeah. It does actually. Doritos, chili, chili, garlic paste, paste and a flour. Super smart. And the temperature of the oil. Wow. Secret, yep. That's the key. We had to send the judges away so they didn't know which. Yeah. The judges were starting played. to get a little bit sad. Yeah, they were really definitely getting handsy. handsy. Aren't you one of the judges? No, no, no. All right, so this is Chris. This is his first, the first plate done. Is that it right there? That's it. I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Heck yeah. yeah. So Chris is first done. So Chris did potatoes with the peppers. He did uh, the Doritos in the flour to uh, bread the fish. And then he just used the chili paste on top. So Brian's not a judge, so he can pick a little bit. It's better, it's better not to be a judge in this situation. Cause then you can sample everybody's food and I don't have to hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> How is it? So that's lake trout, and you can definitely taste a little bit of the chili paste and the Doritos in it. So I think Chris did a really good job. Steve is uh, number two to get his plate dished up. He's dishing it up now. Looks pretty fantastic. Oh, that looks good. And he's gonna try a bite of Steve's marinated in chili sauce oh. with some Doritos in the batter. Mm -hmm. You taste it. Not That's, good. That's good, huh? <laughs> Final touches of salt. You have a good technique, too. <laughs> You've obviously seen that video before. 
<laughs> I like it. Great presentation, Steve. Yeah, it looks really Good nice. job. JJ is hustling. He's got his uh, peppers on, onions on. He's got his fries done. His fries look absolutely amazing. And this fish, I'm really excited to try that fish. All right, so we got Philip. He's number three to dish up the plate. Three. Phil's done. Number three. Number Looks three. good, man. Number good three. presentation. I like those vegetables. The color on that fish is great. JJ's preparing his dish. Looks good. No nice work. Let's see that. Yeah. Oh. All right, judges. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've been standing out in the rain for the last 30 minutes. They look hungry. <laughs> the slow motion walk up. Love it. You guys are in for a treat, I'm telling you that right now. I've, I've... Man! Wow. Look at the plate. Mm, wow. The plate. Wow. All right, let's look at this right now. Okay. I think what you guys need to do is sample the first dish to your left. You'll just go from left to right. You'll and all try together. together. Yeah. Okay. But we should do presentation yeah. first, Are right? You Cause, yeah. Because yeah. you gotta like. Okay, let's talk about presentation all here. Right, so the first plate I see here, healthy division here going on. Nothing of the wet touching the crispy. <laughs> I like that. But this is the one that catches my eye. Really? Is the chili glaze on the fish. That's nice. And a little bit of tartar, I would guess. I haven't tasted yeah. it, but <laughs> yeah. good layout. Plate three, what do you guys think? No, it's your it's your deal. <laughs> this is you. Okay. Okay. Judge your, yeah, plate three, can't. I would say reminiscent of plate one, but it looks like there's a little extra going on. The potatoes. Mm. And the peppers. So I would say for me personally, I like a little more cooked potatoes and peppers. So that one's got plate one beat out for me. Plate four, wild card. The only one with the beans going on. Um, and french fries. See, this is division. Me personally, as a judge, I like eating my segments one by one, not mixing and matching. We got fish, we got potatoes, we got the vegetables, we got the beans. Overall presentation for me personally, this plate right here. Number four. When I first looked at this, I was like, wow, that's proportion for my belly. Half and half. And then I'm like, this? Right? And then it's like, part of my belly is like looking like, wow, there's some red sauce on that. Not sure what that red sauce is, but I like it a lot. And then I looked at this fish right here that looked like the skip and frog going over the what you were fishing with. I'm like, that's cool. I like it, but I hate to copy you, but I'm a. I like my beans, my freaking onions and vegetables, and they're. Even though we don't have gravy, but if there was a little gravy like poutine and a little bit of fish, I gotta say that I like it. That's it for me. That's it for me. All right, Ben. Now I broke this down very scientifically. Play for the fullest I can play for. You were like so analytic. Uh, yeah, play for. What? That's three for plate four. <laughs> so overall, you guys all agree, plate four gets 20% presentation. Yeah, that presentation. All right. Wow, sure. that's a big start. That's, that's a, a big, big start. Oh uh, man, big we're like, we're going forks now. You guys get everything you need. Is it going? It's really like a couple bites. So I'm gonna get the long. onions, a little bit of the potato, and the pepper. Mm. Southwest, <laughs> which is nice to have up here. Taste of home. The cooking on the potatoes are perfect. Firm but not overdone. Yeah, it gives. It has a really nice bite to it. There is, you can tell they've added some seasonings with potatoes there. I'm gonna take one more. Mm. One more That's spoon. good, a good amount of fry oil. Very nice. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just, I'm gonna do one more, just. The onions kind of come through, through the flavor of the peppers. The textures are together. similar though. The one thing I would say is the textures are similar. I'm not tasting a difference. I'm getting different flavors, <laughs> but the textures are similar. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, that's good. That's the the fish. Fish. Like I wanna eat the rest of the plate. Yeah. I'm in that Are we gonna do too. the fish? Do we have two different species here? Or two different kinds species? of fish. Two species. I think I have some pike. One has the sauce. Trout. You got the trout. I believe, and one has the Doritos. 
Oh, so you guys man. gotta split that stuff oh. up. First thing I'm catching here is a really good crunch. I taste Doritos, really good. Man. I taste some nacho cheese action going on. I think when you pair the pink Dorito with the pink oh, no, fish, no. it gives a nice wow. color mix. Mine's good, really good. I think that I think that might be a big contender because fish seems to be the main ingredient. Best cooked fish can be a contender as well. The crunch, solid. Do you see that? That's a crunch, solid piece of fish. Wow. All right, number two. Let's go veggies. Nice palate I like first. I like the cut of the potato. Yeah. That's the easily fork ready potato. No. The colors are really good. The colors good. Right off the bat for me, the potatoes are a little bit softer than the peppers. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Uh huh. <laughs> I appreciate different textures with one scoop. I'm getting a yeah, variety. Yeah, the peppers and the onions have a nice crunch to them. And the potatoes, potatoes are, are kind soft. of just soft. This has got that good crisp on the outside of it there. What do you Very think, good. I think the potatoes are strong. I don't think I had a big enough bite because it tasted so good. I better try one more. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Should we move the fish? That's really good. No, I mean, they, 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 he took some time to make some heat. It's got a that. bit of a spice to it. Like the little brown and solid. Good set of glaze. The batter on this one is not quite as thick, but the glaze. The flavor's there. Nice little bit of heat from the chili garlic and the tartare. Oh, wow. That's, that's got a little bit of heat to it. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. Very, that's good. Very strong flavor. You got flavors coming at you from every direction. Wow. <laughs> I like the way that I knew what we were the key ingredients, the chili garlic paste, is just screaming in that dish. No, dude, it's more that screaming. It comes through. Very I think, strong. to me, this is the biggest thing, is I'm going to get some fish and some potatoes and vegetables on my pork. Combo it. <laughs> That's solid money. It's good. It's a solid plate. You eat a combo going with some fish and chili and some potatoes, get it going. Plate number three is up next. Um, this is the one with the darker vegetables I was discussing earlier. So I'm gonna get some potato, some pepper, and some onion in there. Now me, I like a well done vegetable, and I think that's well done. Mm. Mm. A little bit different. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> I like the way it forks. It forked up really nice there. Um, hung together good for a nice big bite. Mm, very. It's, up. Nice. it's palmable. You got, you got seconds. <laughs> it's very Definitely nice. palmable. <laughs> it's very cohesive. It holds together nicely. Yeah. Adhesive. I'm so intimidated by your pork. I think you nabbed every wow. single potato on that plate. You did really good. That's a really good bite. <clears throat> I like the combination of flavors there. Ryan Fox. So digested. It's good. I like it. It's good. It's really good. Yeah. To me, texture was another issue. I felt the potatoes, peppers, and onions were the same texture going in. Yeah. But it was a mix of flavors. Oh man. Dude, why do you always grab the smallest fish? No, the Dorito is coming through strong in that one for me. Yeah. A nice hint. I think I can get the chili paste there and the batter as well. The crunch is there for me. Flavor. That's a good fish. I'm getting some Dorito notes as well. I'm not no a fish expert, but I think that's pike because it's white. I'm no fisher expert either, but this seems to be tastes for like my pike, so I might be a little biased on this one. <laughs> oh jeez. Wow. No, I'm just kidding. It's good. It's like wow. That's really good. All right, plate four. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> plate number four. The four that won the presentation award. That's already in a strong lead. I think I'm gonna go vegetables and little bean. These vegetables look a little bit more fresh, a little bit more crisp. Like the rest. Probably picked this morning. Yeah. I'm gonna go vegetables and a little bit of bean action. This is the first plate with bean action on it, so. I need a cleanser. Yep. I need a palate cleanser. The crunch is there. Is it? I like the crunch on the vegetables. That's the first plate you can like 
taste the vegetables. Yeah, right? It's the crisp. Right. Like, it's about the texture. Yeah, well, and it's you can taste the vegetables. Mm -hmm. I you like the crunch it. the veggie separate from the what potatoes. Need some more? It brings that strong yeah. pepper flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. I'm going to go potatoes next. I'm going to go a little bit of beans. Some bean sauce action mm -hmm. in there. Ooh, look at the seasoning on the outside of those. The presentation on those potatoes is very Dang. Cool. Yeah. The seasoning's on clutch. A little heavy on the pepper. But it's just Good. right on the pepper. Right into the fish. This glaze looks a little different than these others. Mm -hmm. It does. That was a solid crunch. The crunch continues. <laughs> I don't want to go. Fish on! <laughs> that guy looks excited because I asked him good stuff. I think that one takes the fish for me. Wow. It's good. Wow. Fish. Dude, that just crunched, popped. Like I had a fish on and I wasn't even fishing. Screams, screams Doritos. Dude, screams really? It. Right to your palate. So we've tasted each plate. We have a good idea in our head. We're gonna go think it over with each other. Ryan's taking plate four with him. <laughs> we'll figure it, it out. What it is. We're gonna go deliberate. We'll be back with our final decision. Judges made a decision. Absolutely, we have. Yep. All right, judges, let them know. So after careful consideration, we all ended up on plate number four. Whoever had plate number four is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Who would that be? JJ. 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 Yeah. yeah. But. Judges, but other three don't feel bad because we felt that everybody put in enough work and enough time. Ryan here, good buddy, and he did up even more. So instead of 500 on the tray, we got a thousand dollars. Thousand bucks. Eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred. So we're gonna split it four ways, except for the winner gets an extra hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. So, Woo! 225, 225, 225, 225, 225, 225 because they were delicious and <laughs> they thank were all you, thank good. you. Good job, guys. Good job, good job, good job chefs. And JJ, it's your chopped winner. <laughs> oh, look at that sportsmanship, Chris. <laughs> Philip, <laughs> Steve, no sportsmanship, Steve. <laughs> all good chefs in this camp. We all excited, man. All good chefs in this camp. Heck yeah. Toss, toss, coin toss. Coin toss. You guys all nailed it. I can just tell you that. Toss a coin. You guys did good. Or pull sticks. <laughs> Will you call for you?